taking care of animals which are in grave danger. The Duchess of Cambridge made friends today with an orphaned baby rhinoceros called Dunga. He's one of a dwindling number of one-horned Indian rhinos, and they're trying desperately here at the Kazaranga National Park to save the species. The royal couple took a tour of the rhino's natural habitat, and William was told that these are also hunting grounds for criminals who shoot the rhinos for their hugely valuable horns. Park rangers told him of the challenges they face trying to protect the animals. The, um, the patrolling must be quite tricky with all that long grass, especially at night. It's bumping into a lot of elephants. The rangers say they're winning their war against the poachers, but ITV News has obtained evidence to the contrary. This footage, filmed just three days ago, shows a rhino lying dead in the same area the Duke and Duchess visited today. Poachers shot the animal under cover of darkness, sawed off the horn while it was still alive, and made their escape before dawn. This is a national park and a world heritage site, but hundreds of square miles of jungle are difficult to police, and they provide perfect ground for poachers. A total of 30 rhinos were shot by poachers here last year. So far this year, six animals have been killed, largely because of a mistaken belief among people across Asia that ground-up rhino horn is a cure for all kinds of ailments, from impotence to rheumatism. If I'm not wrong, uh, the current rates of the rhino horns have gone as high as 300,000 US dollars a kg, uh, especially... 100,000 US dollars? Yes. Per kilogram? Yes. That is the kind of uh, the market, uh, uh, you know, the demand that the rhino uh, horn uh, is uh, having now. Taking action to protect endangered species is something the prince cares passionately about. But he's up against a powerful market, which has left these magnificent animals facing extinction.